this sordid case involves sex on hotel ba balconies and small offices in Afghanistan. But some are already saying that the military went too far in charging this case and hasn't done enough to inspire trust in other alleged and potential victims. Brigadier General Jeffrey Sinclair texts, you are so hot, you excite me. And so begins a series of messages from the high-ranking officer now charged with forcible sodomy on his subordinate. In one exchange, the accuser writes, I love you, Mr. Sexy Pants. And the general tells her, you are my hopeless panda. The alleged victim is a younger female soldier who had an affair with the general. The case is a black eye for the Pentagon, still reeling from its estimate that 26,000 troops were assaulted last year. The bottom line is sexual assault is not tolerated, not condoned. The military unveiled new plans to combat abuse, mandating a lawyer conduct pretrial hearings and allowing commanders to transfer accused troops so they don't come into contact with the victim. Unfortunately, with one exception, these really just tinker with the margins. Former JAG officer Taryn Meeks says the Pentagon's only significant change is assigning a lawyer to advocate for victims throughout the process. They fall short of real reform. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel also issued a new memo to the military, ordering them to ignore remarks from President Obama, who said those who commit sexual assault should be prosecuted, stripped of their positions, court-martialed, fired. The comments made by the president did result in an impact in some of the cases that were ongoing. Judges in some cases found the commander-in-chief's comments amounted to unlawful command influence and dismissed the charges. I don't know how somebody can, in essence, unring the bell. And attorney Richard Sheff argues Hegel's memo is too little, too late. In fact, I'm pretty convinced it's not effective to simply tell people to ignore it.